Good morning, welcome back to the Adventures of Mac and Amphia. Today's video is going to be a quick short video on about how to repressurize a hydraulic system on a mini digger after you've actually done work on the hydraulic system uh, and airs managed to get in. Okay, so to give you a quick bit of background, I, I previously did a video on how to replace the seals on the uh, hydraulic pistons on a mini digger. But unfortunately, uh, after replacing one set, I come to actually bleeding the air out the system and found actually the next hydraulic piston along the line on the boom was actually had the seals leaking as well. So at that point, I had to stop the video, order new seals, and of course didn't have a chance to actually bleed all the system out and repressurize it and demonstrate it to you guys back there. Now I didn't do a, a second video on the on the hydraulic piston I've just repaired. I thought one was enough. It's pretty boring content unless you actually got a use for it. So yeah, I haven't really done that. But what I will do now is just conclude basically this quick follow-on video from the first one to let you know how to repressurize the system. So what I'm going to do now, just quickly spin you around and show you what's been going on. Now um, I replaced the seals in this piston. Went well, no problem. Uh, I've now replaced the seals actually in this piston which was even quicker because I'd already done it once. That, that was the first time I'd done the last one. Now, whenever you do any work on this, you do, do any seal replacement, you replace a hydraulic hose, uh, you have to, say for instance, top up the hydraulic fluid or even uh, replace the filter. Anything that interferes with a hydraulic system will need you to repressurize it. So first of all, what you want to do is um, you've, you've actually replaced, say, your filter or a hydraulic hose, or in this case, the seals, and you need to expel all the air. And what you have to do for that is actually uh, expel, contract, and expand all your pistons on, on, on the arm completely multiple times. On this type of digger, you may have to lift the digger up off the ground with the blade multiple times over and over again until you're happy that the, uh, the actual air's all been expelled. Now, what you normally do is you just keep on doing that. Then you extend this arm. How The position that the arm's in now is actually the position, the correct position for checking the level. Then you come along and you check your level here hopefully it's going to come up on camera you've got this uh red circle here and you need to be within that or i've just just slightly over the top of it there and you just keep moving out that arm contracting and expanding all the pistons on that arm until that level no longer moves then you're at the stage where you can move on to repressurizing the system okay so i've uh moved the hydraulics on the arm backs and forwards backs and forwards multiple times uh, I've uh, released the air multiple times from this knot here as I did that and I've uh, re-topped up the uh, fluid uh, back up to the correct level. Actually I over uh, filled it at one point and uh, had to take it out with, uh, with a syringe, a large syringe a bit out of there. But now we're at the right level and uh, I'm happy you know that's where we want to be. Now, um, I don't doubt for a second that there's more air in the system. You know, I've only just moved the hydraulics when they're not out of pressure. But uh, obviously, you know, that's some of the checks you should be doing on a daily basis. If, you, if you're if you using your, your digger daily, you should be checking, obviously, your, your engine oil level, your coolant level, and your hydraulic levels. If you're just using it every once in a blue moon, and just check it before you use it. Because I think over a period of time, that probably level is going to go down. Okay, so uh, that's a, that's the correct position for the uh, the arm and the boom there. Uh, to actually check the uh, fluid level on the reservoir on the side uh, side of the digger there. Now we're going to raise it up to the point where you uh, pressurise the system. Okay, and there you have it. That is the actual position you need to have your digger arm in to pressurise the system. As you can see, all, all the hydraulics are fully extended here on the bucket up there and actually on the arm up there all those are fully extended so now we're just at the final stages here now all you have to do once you've done that is release this knot here probably didn't pick that up but it hissed as it went out and then whilst that boom's still in that position with the engine off you completely tighten this all the way back down again get a ratchet on it and that is your system fully pressurized. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the video. I know it's not particularly interesting content, but hopefully it's of some use to somebody out there. Um, and as I says, that is the follow on video uh, to the last hydraulic video I did, which I couldn't complete because I, I sprung another leak on a different point. So if, together with this video and the last one, you should be able to fully disassemble or do any repairs to the hydraulic system on the digger, reassemble, and then repressurize the system. So I think all that remains now is to thank you for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.